and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some burn aggro. Uh, this is going to be pretty fun. This is very similar to the discard burn deck that we've been playing a couple of times that has been pretty impressive. But in but what we're doing is we're getting rid of the discard package. So no Draven that makes the spinning axes that makes us want to have all sorts of discard and instead as our other champion to go along with Jinx, we're going with Teemo. One of my favorite champions. We we're just talking about that. Like, what's your favorite champion? And Teemo may be mine. Um, but then, so since we're going Teemo, we're basically just using this as like a one mana, one, one um, elusive, you know, gets the poison puff caps in there. But we're not like focusing on the poison puff caps. We're just getting going really aggressive with a lot of creatures in here. We still got our burn spells. But we're trying to go wide. We're using like House Spider to help us go wide and then use Arena Battlecaster, giving all of our other battling allies plus one plus zero. So uh, being an Anthem effect to pump up our uh, creatures as we go wide and just try to get enough damage in there. We have things that do direct damage to the Nexus, like the Legion Saboteur, uh, Boom Crew Rookie, both of those whenever they attack. And then also the Legion Grenadier whenever it dies. We just got one of those in here. It looks like Use Cask Salesman <clears throat> can create a couple Caustic Casks. This card has been pretty impressive. This is a good defensive card. You play it on your opponent's turn. You make two O1s. You get to block with both those O1s that deal two damage to them. So that's what our deck's about. That's what we're going to be doing here. I'm not sure about this one Jury Rig. I don't know. We'll kind of see. I could, <clears throat> I could definitely see replacing that, getting another Brothers Bond in here. Or another Grenadier. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, anyway, that's our deck. I do like Brothers Bond a lot. And so just having the two, I kind of want a third. Uh, but we'll we'll play with the, the list that those online um, to start with. But I, I definitely could see me taking out this jury rig for another Brothers Bond. Yeah, Boom Crew Rookie is 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 definitely the star. That is a great great card. All right, so burn aggro. Maybe we should call this Teemo burn instead of burn aggro. Well, this is the best use for jury rig is to discard it to the get excited. I right, keep this. I'll I'll keep it to have to get excited. I don't have anything on turn two, but we'll have, you know, two draw steps before turn two. There we go. Now we have something to do on turn two. No one's the wiser. Shh, quietly. Got what it came for. Behind ya. This one's trouble. Right. Yeah, Teemo is just a yeah. Just basically another creature in the deck. Mm. I'll go Grenadier and then just go straight to attacking. Recall. That's a lot of mana. I'll try anyone. Well, we've only gotten one damage in so far. First step's the hardest. Yes, they missed. That's a good sign. So doing that so that you know, they have to trade with the 2-3 instead of trading with the 1-1. One, one. Hmm. 
is a dangerous land. No lifelink for you. I don't think there's any harm in playing Jinx right now. Just you and me, fish bones. You know, it's good to be able to have, like, whenever you play Jinx, be able to transform Jinx immedi immediately because of the three damage removal running around, but I don't think there's any harm right now with this. Never see me coming. So am I supposed to try to play... How aggressive I should get here, you know, with just doing damage to them or doing damage to their creatures. Uh, for for a while at least, Everyone slicks. Goes. Playing Legends of Runeterra here instead. Yeah, this deck we want to go face a lot, but this the reason the reason basically not to go face right now is because of Jinx. Um, because we have a Jinx gives us a good late game where we can just play our two things, get a super mega death rocket. You know, like we don't. They, I don't think they can punish me for attacking with this. I'll take care of this. It will be done. Yeah, we're not always going to be attacking with Jinx. I think this is a time that we can, though. And this is like a matchup that we can. But yeah, we you don't want to risk Jinx dying, that's for sure. Hey, Nalda, thanks for the tier one resub. Welcome back to the channel. Four awesome months. Thank you so much there, Nalda. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Let's make a deal. Remember the plan. No, attack with that thing. I guess I should have played the house spider first and then the, then this. I think it's going to work out though. Pretty sure it's going to work out. All right, Jinx is pretty good.
Jinx is pretty good. Alright, and first match is a win. Ezreal.com. I'm going to get rid of the removal spells against Ezreal and try to just have all the one drop or like all the creatures. Nothing like the great outdoors. Boo. Oh, I did my best. Boo, my Teemo. Yeah, no, but this is Legends of Runeterra. This is a new deck that, or sorry, a new game that came out about a month ago that um, is a, just a really, really well put together card game that I think has just a ton of potential moving forward. It's free to play and based on the League of Legends universe. And it is just pretty awesome. And so I've been been playing it um i i uh i wrote earlier in the week why i like it more than magic even as someone who's been who's played magic for the last 10 years and i recommend checking this one out yeah it should be yeah that should be sometime i think it'll be out of beta um, the first half of this year, whenever they talked about that before, they said that um, they want they want it to come to mobile, be able to play on mobile the first half of this year. So now this is a matchup with them having they have like the three damage three damage spells because they're playing get excited so this is one that i want to play jinx and have jinx be my last card and and then it's uh i'll try anyone and then it flips to be a five four immediately Brewing up some trouble. there won't be a warning shot All right, halfway there, down to nine. No. Yes, Elnux Whiffed. All right, I think, uh, can I play the Jinx now? You know, it obviously uses my mana so much better to play Jinx. Let's do it. They do, the three damage burn spell costs three mana. They only have two. This thing is a burst spell, so I can play at instant speed. That is that is just great. Delish. That is just great. This is lethal. They only got the two mana. That's lethal. That was the best draw we could have there with that get that get excited. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, changing focus more Nalda, I'd say. Um, that that is something that's really nice. I forgot about that. Of just all the games 
in Magic that are non-games because of the mana system that you just don't have to worry about that. <laughs> That's something I already forgot about. Okay, so we're attacking turn one, turn three. We have to just pray for a, it's a Heimerdinger deck. I think we just have to pray for, I'm getting rid of one of the two drops and we just have to pray for a one drop. I'm not sure which two drop I want to get rid of. I guess this. I'll get rid of the salesman also, give us a better chance for a one drop. Yeah. That worked out. Two, three, four. I'll scout ahead. Yeah. Team of power. Boom Crew Rookie is nice. I was planning on playing the Salesman, but... <laughs> Buff Caps! Buff Cap Hype! I guess it doesn't make sense to attack with the other things now. Yeah, so whenever it strikes, they get five poison puff caps in their deck. So they're just on random cards in their deck. Like that had one puff cap, so they take one. Timo. All right, take another one. Try me, I dare you. All right, down to six. I got three damage in hand. Don't be that. No, that's the one that it couldn't be. Just you and The one card I did not want them to get. Strike for justice. I'll give you to the counter. So this thing is is lifelink. So five 
Five power lifelinker. Come on. You will be scoured from this land. So the reason why I'm blocking here is because you know, it does have toughness also, so that puts it down to four. So now if I attack with it can't block jinx now. With it being at four toughness. They could add like a barrier, I guess. Now it's a party. Prepared for anything. Yay! Target practice. I forbid it. You cannot really get another batch of experiments. I'll try anyone. Hmm. More pew pewing. Yeah, I know it can't be paid. Yeah, this is just first in a really rough spot. Can't play around them having barrier. If they have barrier, they win. <laughs> yeah, this one's tough though, so we can't get it. Um, I could pass. So, like, the thing is, I could pass, they play the 3-1, and then I cast that, and then we kill the 3-1. The problem with that is if I pass, if I'm them, I'm not playing the 3-1. I'm just, if I pass, then they then they should just pass back. That's what I would do. Come on. Man, we are so close, because they're at 1, and so, so if we would just draw, you know, with our two draws, we would just draw a, a removal spell, or, like a burn spell. That'd be good. Now they're back up to six. Those rallies just destroyed me both both times. Those rallies. Well, obviously it was them getting lucky with the the you know they get a random five drop and they got the five drop that that killed me. If they get any other five drop, I easily win that. But then after that, the two rallies. Yeah, that's pretty unlucky. But we've been getting pretty lucky besides that. We've been doing... We've been drawing well and everything like that. We're about, yeah, we're about to play a rally deck. Fearsome Rally up next. So we can try out the rallies for ourselves. 
Where's my axe? There's just some, some kids playing in the streets and so, you know, making a little bit of noise and so the dogs are barking. Explosives primed. Yeah, Katarina is sweet. <laughs> I haven't... Harvey, stop. Okay, I haven't... Um, crafted... Crafted Katarina's yet. <laughs> Puppy. Here, come up here. can jump. First one's free. Katarina with detain is really mean though. How does how does that work? Katarina with detain cuz the cuz Katarina doesn't die and therefore And therefore, the, the thing you detain is just gone for good. When Katarina gets bounced back to your hand. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, I have, I have one Katarina right now. that I've opened so far. There was hope. Boo. That's a good card. I wanted to play that and then play Battlecaster Attack. So now if I go Battlecaster Attack, they have this eat, like they, this eats like the, the three one, this eats the Battlecaster. We do four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine damage, put him down to six. It's not so bad. Out, the crowd's ready. Let's I guess they have a two mana spell, which that makes that's definitely worse for me. I'm gonna try though. Hey Glaive, yeah, playing Legends of Runeterra instead. This game is awesome. New game. Really recommend checking this one out. Someone, get up! That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, probably about, uh, I've been playing it for a couple of weeks now. About about two weeks. Um, I wrote about it earlier in the week, why I think Legends of Runeterra is a better game than Magic, if you want to check that out. It's it's free to download, free to play. Um, the game's been out for Hello, my about five weeks now. Can't wait. But yeah, I recommend checking this game out. This game's awesome. Hmm. 
Well, I want to play Teemo. I probably need to just go straight to attackers. Well, that worked out pretty well. I'll try anyone. Another day in the field. Come closer. I don't bite. If I would have put the plus two on the battlecaster, I mean, we would have hit them down to one. I mean, if, you know, like so. If I would have played the Teemo pre-combat, they would have had these things to be able to block. Perfect. Now we can have double battle caster with the the team of basically instead of them being at one and still having Vladimir, now they're at three with no Vladimir. The sun's out, the crowd's ready. So as long as I I have one blocker. Wow, they really should not attack with all that stuff. <laughs> they just get a spider. Alright, so you block like let's say you block here, for example. I take two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Darn it. Oh, wait. I can just block these things. That works. Now I'm taking eight. No. Eleven. Mark of the Isles. They're one mana. No, we we're gonna have lethal. Next turn. Man, they just kind of had everything there. Cause I passed. They had no, you know, they had nothing in play. I passed. They just played five creatures and had the combat trick, including heck, you know, Hecarim. So they had Hecarim, Elise. Another two drop. How they have so much mana? How they even play all that stuff? They had nothing in play. Oh, that's right. Because after my attack, they had nothing. But then they got to untap and play. Or like after the attack, they played a bunch, and then they untapped and played some more. Okay, never mind. All right, Zed, Lucian, Garen. Brothers Bond is really good. <clears throat> I think this deck needs more Brothers Bond. I have my orders. Hey Pedro, I'm doing great. Oh yeah, Legends of Runeterra is awesome. Definitely recommend it. Yeah, doing good. Yeah, they didn't even get any of the Hecarim creatures because their battlefield was full. I'm gonna just let this happen with the Teemo. It's all good. I think I can kill. Like, if they don't have anything, I think I can kill them here. Right? They block one thing. 
And so they're going to take four, five, six, and then, and then 10, 14. Going all in, 14. Nothing, have nothing, take 14. No. They had something. They did not take 14. No, there's really nothing that's that's uh, too powerful. No, it's it's very balanced. And even though you're playing best of one, you really don't need sideboards. Like there's, it's not, it's the game is so balanced that it's not like you don't feel like oh man, I wish I had a sideboard for this matchup. Like it's not really like that. So that's that's also really nice and. The turns, see, like, they play a creature, then I play a creature, and, you know, so it's not like one person has a turn, like, the turns are shared, which also makes it so, like, if it's not just, oh, you played first, then, you know, you win the die roll, you win, kind of thing. It's... In the name of our land. It's a really, really well put together Show game where... Just... All the games are close and interesting, and I want to make this block. So that thing's gonna trade instead of letting their two-two trade with the six one. Oh, their two-two couldn't trade with the six-one anyway. But oh well, like that that block was just gonna happen the next turn. Hmm. Usually you're supposed to just go straight to attacks. We did draw just our best card. That's a great attacker. Just you and me, Tishbones. And them. My heart and sword for Demacia. My gorg and blue for Bablafia. Awesome. Three and two. We're we're getting there, almost halfway. Yeah, that's that's the thing is like basically all of my losses I can think of like decisions that I could have made differently to to help to you know make a difference. It's not like you don't have the non games in Magic where it's just like no I I you know just had to mulligan to five and um you know or I got mana screwed or I drew five lands in a row. It's so refreshing to play a game where all the games are close. Okay, so we're playing against see and also I that helps with the not having to sideboard is because you know what champions you're playing against. You basically know what, what deck you're playing against when you're making your original mulligan decisions. I think that's really nice too. That allows you to make you know better well informed mulligan decisions. Game one. You know, you don't know everything in their deck, you just know what champions they're playing. So it could have like the three one frost breath. But I'm going wide here so I can still attack in with a bunch of stuff. Even if they have that. You see the border. Ah, they have that card. That's worse for me. That's better for them. Look out for Reavers. So these trade, but they get to draw a card, but I also have the one one in play. Not bad for them.
Teemo. I could have that four mana do one damage again to these two. Yep. But that taps them out. Play this Boom Crew rookie. I can do this. So attacking for six. And we want to get an empty hand before we play Jinx, because we don't, you know, they, they're they playing Get Excited that do three damage. We want to flip Jinx and have Jinx have four toughness first, so we want Jinx to be our last card to play. They're probably thinking if they want to play Troop of Elnux or not. No, guess no. That's what I thought they were thinking about. Leaping into action. The creatures are more valuable, especially with the Battlecaster that gives them plus one, plus, plus one, plus zero. playing mono Ezreal so they're going you know probably Elnuk version I haven't tried Fiora yet no that's another one that I've opened one Fiora but I haven't, cra I haven't crafted the others every time I play against like the Fiora deck I've I've never lost to anything else besides Fiora and <laughs> the deck hasn't seemed too impressive playing against it except for you know you can still definitely lose to actual Fiora but the other cards don't seem too difficult to to beat they're you know basically all in fiora which can which can work it's not like i'm not like i'm undefeated against the deck or anything that was one of our losses earlier rules are made to be broken her people But it seems like the kind of deck that I don't mind playing against. Like if I had to choose something to play against, I'm usually happy playing against it. Less thinking, more pew pewing. They got me. I'm so good, I surprised myself. Both probably has this playing a, a transformed Ezreal, and they're still at nine. Probably got this one. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. First big mission. These old eyes still see far. Sure. All right, maybe not. 
<clears throat> now they they shouldn't have removal to kill Jinx now, because now thermogenic thermogenic beam doesn't kill Jinx. Just you and me, fish bones. So maybe if we can get lucky flipping, you know, like being able to get a empty the hand, get a uh, super mega death rocket. Super mega death rocket. True Felyorian, welcome. That's a great one. Now it's a party. Doesn't mean that we have this one. Ezreal can just, they could just have a bunch of burst spells in hand and kill me. Not saying this game's over. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right. I should play the Jinx one because then we shuffle a Jinx into the deck. Yeah, I forgot about the, sh the shuffle into the deck part. No, good call, good call. This is a, this is slow speed. So I cannot cast this in mid combat. I need to cast it now. Uh, do one damage to their enemies. So do one damage to these things, so they don't get to block. I got ways to find me mushrooms. See ya. But still, I'd, I'd have to cast it after combat. If I wait, also. Even if they have four spells, they only have three mana. So even if they have three mana, like, they don't... That's not enough to kill me. That's not enough to kill me. And then attack triggers. All right. Burn aggro is four and two. Yeah, I guess that, yeah, they don't have deny. So yeah, maybe clearing out the blockers isn't relevant. I don't know. Oh, the boom crew. Yeah. They could have the person that heals three. All right, looks like we got Fearsome Rally. The deck we're playing up next is the one we're played against, paired against now. Replace this, keep the rest. Boom crew rookie. So Legion Rearguard does more damage right away. Teemo can do get more damage done over time if I play the Teemo right now. I like Teemo and I want to play Teemo now, but it's Maybe the better play to play the rear guard. Prepared for anything. I'll scout ahead. See, like we're dealing two less damage, but we did give him the five puff caps. So kind of playing for the late game. There's nothing to fear. I can do this. Out from the dark. So Mark of the Isles. That's always been there. Would be bad. Oh come on, you have Mark of the Isles. I 
Where's my axe? Well, this did not work out. A tribute to the spider god. Okay, ready. This did not work out at all. Those are the two best cards to have, the uh, Mark of the Isles and then Vile Feast. So my plan is play used cask salesman. I mean, they, they definitely have spells. So, like, they probably have another mark. It's probably another mark. Mark of the Isles. So, my plan is play the Salesman, get the two Caustic Casks, attack out, and I can attack with the Caustic Casks also. That'd be two power. Won't find better this side of the and then I still I have the Brothers Bond. Yeah, card names are tough. There's nothing to do with the Brothers Bond except for I could just use it for just four damage, but I don't know, they're already at a million damage, million life. They had a really good hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was definitely the hardest part teaching was yeah learning all the everybody's name every year that was tough all right well jinx if something can help us maybe it's jinx They may have Black Spear do three damage. It doesn't look like it. But yeah, I should have just played this before anyway, just because so I can draw two cards. I was gonna try to get them. They Black Spear this, and then I do that in response and turn this into four toughness. But I shouldn't have even done that. I should just because if they would have just passed. I wouldn't have drawn my two cards.
Super mega death rocket. Six. Let's attack. We may, I don't know, we may be able to pull this off. It will all be over soon. They're down to four, and we just gave them five more puff caps. We got eight puff caps. We may pull this off. Come on. <laughs> nope, we're not pulling it off. So close. Ten mana spells win the game, though. Ten mana spells win the game. All right, so we went four and three with burn aggro. The... Yeah, Teemo was just basically another one drop in the deck. Wasn't really even like that great of a one drop, honestly, with, with the rest of the deck. I didn't really like the jury rig, which I didn't think I was going to. But yeah, I didn't. Um, it does kind of seem like we could use another Legion and Grenadier or Brothers Bond. I did like Brothers Bond. I thought Brothers Bond was good for the most part. Um... If I would have, if I would have just cast the Brothers Bond that that turn and just dealt the four damage, would they ended up at like five? It would have been just like two extra damage. What did they end that game at? They ended at five. So yeah, I would not have killed them. But I could have played because I could have played the the three one. Hmm. All right, so yeah, I, I would take out Jury Rig. And I would play something else. I think Grenadier, honestly. I think Grenadier is good. Oh, I don't I don't actually own another Grenadier, but but yeah, I, would, I think I'd put another Grenadier in for this for this Jury Rig. I think this card's good because you know, like you gotta kill it, but then it does two damage to them. Yeah, I like I like that Grenadier. But anyway, there we go. That's it's fun to play. Uh, some burn games go pretty fast, for the most part. Um, Battlecaster was awesome. I liked this. I liked this version. I also like the discard version too. As far as which one do I think's better? Um, I don't know. They're pretty similar. Um. I think if you don't have the extra, I think you need Jinxes. Jinxes is just amazing. But if you don't have the uh, champions for Teemo, I don't think you really need Teemo. I think you could you could get away without having Teemo. You know, play another Brothers Bond, play more Grenadiers. Like that's what I would do if I just didn't have Teemos. Is there is there another one drop? You wouldn't really want Draven's big, biggest fan. No, there's not really another one drop to play. So you could just go, could just go to like if you want to play this exact list, but you don't want to, you don't want to craft Teemo. Um, 
take out the three Teemos, play a third Brothers Bond, and play two more Legion Grenadier. And I think that I don't. Even, I think that it honestly may be an upgrade. It's possible. Um. All right, but there we go. So that's Burn Aggro. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Uh, you know, leave those comments. Let me know if you're playing this deck or you know whatever other deck you're playing, how it's going for you over there, um, and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, please hit that like button for those videos. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Burn Aggro, and I'll see you for the next video.